This video is powered by Manscaped. Go to manscaped.com slash fancam for 20% off your order and free shipping. Keep your boys in top form with Manscaped. <laughs> AFTV, what a crazy game that was. Half-time 2-0, I'm sure you, like myself, was in your head saying, right, let's go out there, 4, 5, 6, nil, maybe. You know what I mean? We were so dominant in the first half. And in the second half, they get one back and then they score an absolute worldy. And then after that, their keeper pulled off save after save after save. It's starting to look like this game could end up in a draw, but credit to the team. They fought till the end and 4-2. Uh, yeah, 100%, Robbie. I've got to say, that's the best way to win a game. It's probably the best game I've seen at the Emirates for a good year, you know. But to be honest, I don't want it to turn out like that for the next 30 games of the season. I could, I could do without that. Um, but look, don't crucify me for this, but out of the three games we've faced since Odegaard's injury, Spurs, City and this game, I was most worried before this game. And let me tell you why, because I think when we go away to a team like Spurs, a team like City, they're both very attacking. You know we're going to get chances because we're going to be able to hit them on the counter and we can defend their attacking. Today, I knew that they were going to come here, they were going to part the bus, and it was a test about what we would do without Erdegaard to try and break them down. We definitely passed that test today. The number of chances we created, as you said, we were probably a bit wasteful in that first half. But to be honest, that's the best I've seen us play this season, creating so many chances, free-flowing attacking football. I thought Trossard stepped into Erdegaard's role flawlessly. It was absolutely brilliant. After the, the half-time, I think we did get a bit complacent at 2-0, and that's something definitely to be a bit concerned about as the season goes on. We've got to make sure that we're protecting those two goal leads, and actually we're more clinical with the chances we get yeah. when we are on top. But look, we persevered, we got back into it, and can I just say, I think that's largely because of the introduction of one Ethan Wanneri. Yeah. He looked, he, looked, he looked really good when he came on the arm. Um, well, it was another brilliant save by the keeper, wasn't it? I mean, yeah. brilliant bit of play by him. And um, we touched it up a notch after yeah. that. But boy, I still can't believe how that game turned out like that. Yeah, but it's just about the energy he brought. Like, the energy levels went up as soon as he came mm. on. And I am going to ask the question now, even though he's 17, how long is it before he starts a game in the Premier League? Right, because he's very creative. In the absence of Odegaard, I think he can easily fill that role, even though Trossard was excellent today. He definitely deserves to start a game coming up. But then who do you drop? Well, you've got to say, maybe you put Trossard out on the left. But Trossard was brilliant today was, as well. He, he scored he a goal. He, had a, he was him involved in the winner. I mean, uh, you know. So maybe you put Trossard on the left and you have to take Martinelli out for it, even though he scored today. Martinelli scored and had an assist today. Look, look, it's competition for places, but he has done plenty over the last few games to earn the right to start. Mm. If you look at our first six games this season, we played Villa away, City away, Spurs away. I can't imagine a harder start, but we're unbeaten. It's been an excellent yeah, start to the season. Obviously, obviously, Tuesday night oh, now, we are um, PSG carry. at home, um, another big game, the big games are coming thick and fast. <laughs> what are you thinking about for that game? Yeah, 100%. I think this is a winnable game. Look, they're the best team in France, but I think for the last 18 months, we've been the best team in this country, right? So we've got to go in and go for the win. We're at home. I think we can absolutely get the win there. I just want to say one more thing. The more I think about it, the more stupid it was for Chris Kavanagh to send Declan Rice off the other week for that slight touch. Because yes. as soon as you do that, you set a precedent that as soon as a player obstructs the, the play, the game, they should get sent off. And the number of times Leicester did that today, I mean, they're number 14, Where's stopping Morgan, us, yeah. taking a throw in. And they didn't get anything. And the refereeing was so inconsistent. I thought Wilfred and Didi made about three tackles that were worthy of a yellow card, right? He didn't get any, he got one yellow card, didn't get it's sent off. Nonsense. It's inconsistent refereeing, Fuck okay? Howard but Fuck look, Howard that is not the most important thing today. The most important thing is the win, the manner of the win, and we march on to Tuesday. Yeah. I absolutely think we can go smash PSG. Oh, 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 oh,